From Action Tab World Headquarters, this is T.A. Barnhart with another Tab Report. Majorities matter. Fed State Representative Jules Bailey, House District 42, speaking at a town hall meeting with Senator Diane Rosenbaum and Secretary of State Kate Brown. He's talking about the situation in the Oregon legislature and the frustration of trying to advance good legislation against the obstacle of a 30-30 split in the House. In the Senate, which has a majority of Democrats, albeit a small one, the difference is striking. And I, I think you really heard a theme in, uh, in Diane's presentations here. Uh, and, and part of that theme is uh, it's a challenging session in dealing with the budget. Part of that theme is that it's a challenging session in dealing with very close, uh, closely divided chambers on both sides. Obviously, in the House, it's tied. Uh, and frankly, a theme that uh, majorities matter. And uh, you hear a consistent theme of the Senate's getting it done. And now we have a few balls in our court in the House, and we've got to get it done. And we've got to get it out past a tied 30-30 House. The Senate has taken an enormous leadership role. It wasn't easy. I know it was a huge lift to get uh, the, the BPA ban over to the House. Now we've got to get that done. And the Senate's gotten it done on tuition equity. Uh, and now that's over. Uh, in the House. It's going to be incumbent upon us uh, to get that done. For Bailey, it's not merely a matter of our bills versus their bills. In some cases, good policy is being thwarted by the House GOP leadership's politicking. Some of those. Sure. So let me start with the, uh, with the, with the federal, federal Air Quality Grant. So just for a little bit of background, some of you may have seen an op-ed in the Oregonian about this. Uh, it seems a little bit counterintuitive, but an agency actually needs permission to go and apply for a grant from the federal government. Unfortunately, I think some of the higher levels of, of the Republican leadership that need to agree to this in the House side see it as a, as a quote unquote Portland issue. And, our, and uh, the response that we've heard is, well, even if it's not uh, state tax money, it's still federal tax money and it's just for Portland, so we're not interested in it. Uh, and it becomes a bargaining chip. And it's just, you know, I don't mean to be hyperbolic about it, but frankly, when you're holding hostage people's health and the health of children around schools simply because of a geographic issue in this state, it gets me a little bit hot under the collar. And it's, it's not right. And so we're going to continue to push on this. I don't want it to be a bargaining chip. I want it to go forward on the merits because it's money into the state for something that we need to keep people healthy and safe. Case closed. So, Jules would be the first to admit it's not that simple. However, there are times when a majority, such as the Dems enjoyed the previous two sessions, would make progressive legislation more feasible. Senate Bill 99, the healthcare exchange, is a good case in point. As passed by the Senate, the exchange cannot negotiate for lower insurance rates. Health Care Committee co-chair Mitch Greenlick is attempting to add an amendment to that end. Right now, as far as I've heard, and Jules probably knows more than I do, there is a kind of a stalemate in the committee. And I, these committees are all half Republicans, half Democrats. So in order for that change to happen and then for it to pass through the House, there has to be Republican support to do that. Uh, it's not so much a stalemate on the committee. It's more of a stalemate at the leadership level. Uh, we, Representative Thompson, uh, who co-chairs the committee with, uh, with Mitch Greenlick, a uh, Republican, very rational, uh, reasonable guy, has not made a secret of the fact that uh, he'd be willing to bring this, uh, bring this forward. Uh, but uh, the clamps have been put down uh, at, that, at that top leadership level. So, The last time Republicans held the leadership in the House, the same thing would happen. Bills their members favored would be quashed because leadership had a different agenda than good policy. The legislature is passing many good bills, and in lots of cases, DNRs are working together productively. But in some critical areas, not so much, leading Representative Bailey to summarize. Uh, and across the board, you're seeing a number of places where uh, it really has become clear the difference between last session and this session, and it is very true that majorities matter. The solution? You have to be informed and you have to be involved. Otherwise, you leave the state's fate to a handful of conservatives who don't see a progressive future for Oregon. They see Wisconsin's. For the Action Tab, this is T.A. Barnhart.
Goodbye.